This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Hey guys, Elliot here from the Jump Jump Die podcast and YouTube gaming channel, and today I have some zombies on the new map from the First Strike map pack, Ascension. And I'm teabagging the ground. Delicious. Do like it. I'm playing with my good friend Graham, and we decided to do two-player and just see how far we could get in this map. And we actually got further than we expected. Um, I, I wanted to get a bit uh, later in the rounds before I started recording. And here I am, round 18. Oh. Um, so we, we got a bit lazy here. I think we had a hectic round the round before, and I was trying to also set up my recording devices. Um, so we didn't get all the doors patched up. I think that's the only one we didn't get patched up, so... Yeah, so here you can see me using the Calamity, which is an upgraded CZ-75, and it is absolutely awesome. It has 20 rounds in the clip, and it's probably my favorite gun in Zombies for some reason. Um, I just really like it. It's good from the hip, and it's good aim down sights, as you can see. I'm beasting with it. But I was actually panicking a little bit, because it started to get a little bit more hectic than I expected. My other gun is the RPK upgraded, which I can't remember what it's called. But it's an absolute tank, and you basically need a LMG to be able to um, do any work in this in um, zombies on Black Ops uh, at later rounds. You really do need it. The clip is good, the damage is good, and if you can just sit there headshotting them, it's really, really good. I um, unfortunately couldn't get that opportunity at this point in time because we were just so overwhelmed. I didn't have a chance to sort of uh, get a good choke point and just sit there with it and pop them in the head. Graham got every single um, death machine on this in this playthrough. <laughs> uh, there was about five or four, and he got every single one. And um, he did really well with them. He got a lot of points, as you can see. So, is a tactic you can use is um, to not get those uh, carpenter buffs and to get the points. But we're so high in, in levels now that it's like kind of not worth it. We we just really want the the breathing space. Um, I think the round's ended now and we're just sort of doing our thing, trying to get some points and stuff. But we always have, in this spot, we always have that lander ready to go just in case we need to bail. Uh, and it's, it's really helpful because it can, always, it can like keep you alive. While it sort of does just prolong the inevitable sometimes, you jump on that and you can get away from the zombies and set up in another location, which is really, really good and helpful. And it allows you just to live that little bit longer. So I've, I'm completely out of ammo, and I've realized this. Um, oh, not completely. I've got some in my RPK, but that's about it. And I was panicking a bit because I wanted to keep these guns. So I was hoping maybe, maybe, I can reload the guns here with 5k. But it <laughs> doesn't look like it. So I'm like, shit, what do I do? Um, so I was kind of a little bit confused. I needed to get some weapons, but I didn't want to lose my stuff. And I had a decent amount of ammo with this thing. So I thought, maybe if we do this round, some ammo will drop. And we'll get max ammo and we'll be fine. And we'll all have cake and a tea party. And we'll high five. Um, but that is not what happened, unfortunately. Bit of a spoiler there. So, yeah, each round we get a crawler. Well, not each round. Most so Some rounds we'll get a crawler so we can go and do stuff like check our weapons and get ammo, random box, pack a punch, all that stuff, get perks. And um, and this is one of those moments. And I've knifed this guy, I think, 12 times. Because uh, I counted. <laughs> and it takes so long at this level that you really just need to shoot them. It's ridiculous. There we go. This round gets fucking hectic, I'm going to say. But I've got um my perks on at the moment. A Juggernog, I got the Revive perk, I got Slider Hand, and I got... PhD Fogger, or whatever it's called, which allows you, it's a new one in this map, and allows you to uh, dolphin dive off high areas, and basically you explode and kill all the zombies around you, which is really useful on this area, because that that, that area down there is um, perfect height, and it doesn't hurt you at all, so you can jump down there and blow up a big pack of zombies. And it's quite the useful perk. So... I'm panicking slightly here because I know this round's going to be nuts. Um, but yeah, check out the points, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's just excruciating just watching this back after playing it. It was frightening last night. So I tried to get an explosion going and it didn't seem to do anything for some reason. 
I think it's because I touched one of them, and if you touch them, it doesn't work or something. If there's zombies around. Oh, and I go down here. This is terrible. Get ready for some beast mode, though, from uh, Graham. Check this shit out. I'm like, it's a death machine, Graham. He's like, I'm gonna get it. Check him out. He's just beasting on everyone. And I'm just getting the shots. I'm like a cameraman right now. That looks so cool. <laughs> so Gra Graham sort of... I, I was going really shit this round. Um, this game. And I kept dying a lot. And Graham was a beast. And he was finishing him off and then getting me up as well. So I'm about to die here. And we get really lucky in a second. Um, with this bomb. <laughs> oh, if that thing hadn't have come. Basically, it would be fucked. So he manages to... Get rid of them, and I, I'm like, oh no. But no, he managed to get me up. And we're okay, but I have no ammo now. I literally have 120, what, 160, no, 52 bullets. That's maths for you. Um, And I'm, again, at that point thinking, what should I do? So I run down, get Juggernog, because that's a must. And I was sort of hoping maybe we'd get a monkeys around there, but nope. And um, I've got no ammo. So it gets a bit crazy here, because we both have literally no ammo in a moment, and we're trying to survive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's, it's frightening just to watch it back. And we get the trap going. So throughout the map, there's little traps everywhere that you can activate, uh, which will... Uh, you can funnel the zombies through and basically give yourself some breathing space. Um, and we're still learning this map, um, and it's a little bit different to playing with four people as opposed to playing with two. When you're playing with two, you've got to be in a bit more of a wide open area. If you've got four people, you can sort of funnel people through and stuff like that. You can funnel them and block off all the approaches and things like that and work as a team a bit better. But with two people, it's a bit more uh, rudimentary. You have to really just run around. But we get insta-kill here and I turn into Rambo. I'm just like knifing everyone. Out of my way, jerks! I nearly go down here, but I managed to bolt. Oh god. Get out of my way! I'm a famous historian. Oh dear. So, um, I'm just really just panicking. That's, uh, there's no strategy here. I'm just thinking, I'm gonna knife everyone and run away. <laughs> And I'm just trying to get a crawl here so I can uh, maybe survive the next few rounds. <laughs> oh man, it's hectic. Oh, God. It was so much fun playing this. This Seriously, zombies, I've been getting into it a lot lately and it's it's a lot of fun. I'm just trying to rebound grenades off walls and stuff to get crawlers. <laughs> and I'm failing abysmally because I have no ammo. And I'm just being really stubborn. And I don't want to get that MP5K because I'm so stubborn. I want to get ammo for my guns that I have. I don't want to get rid of them. So here's on, uh, Graham calls out to get the machine gun. So we get the machine gun pumping. And we pull back to the AK-74, which I'm like, fuck it. I think I'm going to get it. And I think all the zombies are up. So we're fine to just activate this. And that's another trap. And this is a good spot that I've always wanted to use. So that's got an entry point there. And there's two traps. And then there's two windows in here. And I think they also come out of the ground. But then there's also a door there. So I reckon if you... Early rounds, this would be a really good spot. Because um, you could funnel a lot of people through here. And if someone has an LMG, you could just sort of put them right on it. And they could just headshot all the zombies. And that would be quite useful. So I was thinking that would be good. And we think we need some breathing room. So we get on... We call in our jet... And I just have a rudimentary, guns. crappy, base-level AK-74U. And I'm kind of crapping my pants a little bit. And I'm thinking, where's it going to go from here? So, uh... You may, you'll probably find out. If, if you like this video, um, give it a like. And then you might get the second part to this video. Uh, where we go up to around blankety-blank. I'm not going to tell you. So then I fly off into the abyss. And good day, we're going. Goodbye. Farewell, Alvida Zane.